The CFA material has officially changed, so let's talk about it. Here is everything you need to know about the changes in the CFA Level 1 curriculum for the 2023 exams. We're going to be covering this in less than three minutes. Welcome back to Wall Street Notes. Let's start with the general changes in terminology and structure. So what we used to know as readings will now be referred to as learning modules or LMs and the learning outcomes or LOSs are no longer labeled, but no worries because Wall Street Notes will still be covering all the outcomes in order so that you can be sure you cover every single one from start to finish. Now let's go into each topic. Quantitative methods. Quant has the same seven readings as it did in 2022, starting with time value of money and ending with intro to linear regression. So luckily, no major changes here. Economics. The CFA has added a new learning module called Intro to Geopolitics to reflect a completely new line for the candidate body of knowledge. In total, you'll have eight learning modules to cover for economics. FSA. If you thought that the financial statement analysis section was already long enough, it looks like you're right because no new learning modules were added to this section. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same for corporate issuers. For starters, there's two new learning modules called Corporate Structures and Ownership and Business Models. Uses of Capital has been updated and will now be called Capital Investments. Sources of Capital also has been updated and will now be called Working Capital. Intro to Corporate Governance and other ESG considerations has been revised and Capital Structure has undergone major revisions, so quite a few changes from the previous curriculum. Equity Investments has no changes Fixed income also has no changes. And for everybody that enjoyed derivatives, the content that we saw in 2022 has been revised into these 10 new different learning modules for 2023, starting with derivative instrument and derivative market features and ending with valuing a derivative using a one period binomial model. A similar thing has happened with alternatives where the content has been revised into these three learning modules for 2023. For portfolio management, portfolio risk and return part one, part two, Intro to Risk Management and Fintech and Investment Management all have new updates. And finally, ethical and professional standards will remain the same as it did in 2022. I hope this helped you visualize the changes between the 2022 and the 2023 curriculum a little bit better. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.